Welcome back guys to another video today. For we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be doing another Bible study, as I promised. And I know I'm a little late, but we've been actually out um, doing errands today. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. We are gonna be in First Peter five seven. Yes, five seven. Um, one of my favorite verses. Uh, really like this one. I'll go ahead and read it, and then we'll get into it. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and say our prayer. And, yeah, link will be in the descri description for our church. Um, if you want to check it out online. Um, so, yeah, um, make sure to click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and give it a few huge thumbs up. Um, my friend recently just get hit 300-something subs. Um, so, hopefully you guys can get me to that, too. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for these wonderful viewers who watch my videos. And um, thank you for allowing me to be able to do these Bible studies. And thank you for people that watch them. And please help the missionaries around the world who are traveling, that they will get the word out, and that we would too. And they brought you us in Jesus' name. Okay, so 5 7. 1 Peter 5 7. I'll go ahead and put it across just like I did last time. Zing! Okay, so let's go ahead and get on to it. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. So you're telling God, um, this is what's going on. Here are all my problems. Please take care of them. Um, he cares for you. I, like I talked about in all my <laughs> videos, he cares for you. I mean, does, does he not, or does he? Does he keep you alive right now, breathing? Yes, he has he cares for you. That's why you're breathing right now, and that's why you have a house. That's why you have beds. That's why you have um. That's why you have furniture. That's why you have. That's why you have electronics. That's why you have everything that you own is because of God. Because He cares for you. Um, if you if if God wasn't there, you'd be dead. There'd be nothing. You would have nothing. I mean, you want to be be able to see it. But if you're breathing, and if you're alive, you'd have nothing. You would really be gone on the streets if there were any streets because nobody would be able to build them because that, cause, cause God wouldn't provide it for them. Um, you, you just feel like you were in a whole new world. There'd be no world, really, because God wasn't in it. There, there would be no world. There'd be no you right now today if he didn't care for you. If God, if God never cared for you, then why are you breathing? Question, t question, give that question to God. Um, he'll tell you why. Because you have a purpose. God cares for you. Um, if you don't care for him, he still loves you. He still cares for you. Um, there's nothing that God cannot do. Um, he, he's blessed you with all this stuff. I mean, what can he do? Um, he's blessed you with a nice house. He's blessed you with nice clothes. He's blessed you with any clothes that you have. Anything warm. Anything in your house. Even if you have a house. God's blessed you. Um, because he cares for you. I'm trying to get you guys to understand that God cares for you and that um, everybody should know about Jesus Christ and how he can save you. And the only reason that God loves you is because he created you and that he cares for you. It says right in here that God cares for you. And I'm telling you what, God cares for us so much that he keeps us breathing. And that's, that'll really make you turn, that'll make your um, wheels turn in your head. Does God care for you? That's a no-brainer. He does. He cares for all of us. God is the best God. There's no other God um, that can beat God. There's, because there are, there are no other gods. God's the only God. He cares for you. And um, if, if you don't care for him, he still loves you. He still cares for you. He, can, he, st he, has, he still keeps you breathing. Um, no matter what, God still cares for you. No matter through the trials, no matter through anything. God cares for you. And he still loves you. And there's nothing that God cannot do. And he that's why thats why he blessed you. Because he cares for you. Care. Whenever you care for somebody, do you give them something? Do you care for them? Do you, um, like your family members, do you care for them? Like, I'm talking about your actual, like, family, family members. Not your cousins or your, like, your step. Or your like like your like your brother-in-law or something, um, but it has to be your like 
do you care for your brothers or sisters? I'm pretty sure that you do. I mean, I do. God, God, God considers you a brother. My bad, not a brother. I like your child. My parents care for me. That's why they. That's why they've gotten all this stuff for me. That's why they've gotten me this camera. They got me all this stuff. This is actually our game room, if you didn't know. And that's um, our parents have given that to us is a blessing from God. It's basically like God gave it to our parents to give to us, and then um, it keeps on going on and on. Um, but yeah, God's blessed me with. Um, many things. God's blessed you too. Um, that's why he's caring for you and that's why he's keeping you alive today is because he cares for you. You have a purpose. Um, so let's go ahead and read it again. Casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. So that basically tells you the whole thing right there. That verse is like telling you what happens. If, if you tell him all your, if you tell him all your cares and your woes and your worries and everything, God, God will, um, care, he, he care, he cares for you, no matter what happens, no matter what you say to anybody, no matter what you do, God still cares for you, and I hope you know that he still loves you. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in another Bible study next Friday, um, make sure to click that subscribe button, and turn on notifications, so, yeah. <laughs>